What's up everyone, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you are new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing. There's heaps of cool stuff just like this. And what we have here is the Sen F450. It doesn't normally look like this. It's normally a brushed kind of crawler. The system that normally comes in it is all this electronic goodness here, except for I did upgrade mine to this Quick Run Fusion brushes. I've done a video on that. Leave the link if you want for that one as well. But this is part two. Now... This is a Toyan engine FSL200. It's a two-cylinder, four-stroke nitro engine. They're pretty cool. Um, you would have seen my uh, part one. I'll show you what I've already done. I've already converted some cars with these motors. But this is part two because I have already mounted the engine, as you can see. And I was originally going to use the four-speed, three-speed forward and one reverse gearbox here as well but it was a little bit too wasn't going to really work with this and I didn't really have a pinion with enough teeth I think this was only about 15 tooth and the clutch belt was 16 so it's only one to one and I might struggle a little bit in first gear so I've ordered some uh, big pinions there I think 30 26 and 24 size so I'll wait for that to come in but in the meantime I use this because and oh and another thing I think <laughs> Sorry about the mess. This is what it takes to convert one of these things. You've got so many little spare parts, bits and pieces, stuff off the old car, and just trial and error. So, you know, and you rob some things from other projects as well. For example, the steering system, which I need for this guy, which is kind of going to go on the side, just here, just like that. It uh, probably work pretty damn well. But anyway, so yeah. I think this gearbox will be good for a crawler, so uh, hopefully we can get the L400, which is a four-cylinder. This will be good for a crawler, so this is going to go in, I think, one of them, and probably into that orange one over there as well, because they are both uh, four-wheel drive. This one here, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make it just two-wheel drive, maybe like a, also like a burnout machine type of thing, because I think it'll work pretty damn well. Now, the same process for mounting these, pretty much, is just a flat aluminium plate, or you can do it either way, you can hang it off the side as well, but I always always kind of use a flat aluminium plate, I think it's around about 2mm thick, and I put it in between the chassis rails, or on the bottom of the chassis rails, just like that, and four simple holes that hold the motor in, and once they're in there, it's it's solid, it's not going anywhere, and you just got to make sure it's kind of in the centre, and you know, just depending on your height you want to do, and that's it, but pretty much for this one, mount it straight to the bottom, and screw this straight on top and it works really well. The shock towers, sometimes you have to uh, separate them or move them apart even more. For example, this one, you see there's little spaces here, where is it? just there. They kind of bring it out in about a five to six mil just to give you some more clearance. There's no real issue on this side, but I need to, you know, mirror the image. This one here has the clutch, sorry, has the carburetors. So you can see if, if I was using the existing width, if I can, it would it just there's no clearance at all. So to bring them out and also channel out the top of the carburetor of the sorry, it's early in the morning, top of the shock tower there to make clearance for it. Just there. I'll paint it up with a, maybe a sharpie or a bit of a black paint. And that should look all right, but yeah, there's always there's always something with these builds that you know it's never normally just plug and play. But that's the that's the beauty of it, and uh, that's what makes it fun. So that's all done. Now you can see some really nice mesh here. Same process as well with the gearboxes. Normally you've got to hang them or you know uh, attach them to the sides, but that's what I've done here. Pretty cool. Now all I've used this one is I think one and a half mil thick aluminium channel but it's obviously just an angle you know a lot of measuring um, you know it takes a while this wasn't my first set I think this was my my second attempt I believe I'm missing a screw there but I'm just getting everything in to make sure everything fits okay now these screws are actually old Meccano screws I remember Meccano a lot of you older guys will and they're perfect uh, diameter I think they're M4 but they're not too long and they're not too short and they have just enough bite uh, for everything, for these anyway, especially for these Revo gearboxes and also the uh, actual screws, the thread into the bottom of the block. So this takes a bit of trial and error. I can always still run four-wheel drive in the future. I just need to angle this 
uh, axle up and it should be in a, a little bit of aggressive angle but it should be okay but I wanted it pretty much rear wheel drive and that angle is pretty cool now because the sand's so long it's got this normal drive shaft and you've got this like a bearing hanger here and another drive shaft and now you know I couldn't really get that out it wasn't really playing very well so I thought you know what I'll just make an extension done a little bit of a hack job here but it works fine flattened out this new the old shaft put two grub screws in to hold it made just like a little adapter and I screwed the diameter of that into the uh, a Revo 3.3 axle half or sorry what are they called um, the universal joint whatever you want to call it there's two halves for the sorry for the telescopic drive shaft cut that one down drew it in it and I tapped it with just a screw like that running all the way through and it works fine I might actually take the screw out put a bit of glue in there and then put it in there again so it doesn't really come out but for an eye job it's pretty it's pretty good and I think it'll do the job because this one does not weigh as near as much as that does and I think these tires should you know spin up as well pretty cool so two speed forward two speed reverse everyone ask about what these gearboxes are Revo 3.3 transmission and they are adjustable as well and they're a brake the brake does go here right around about here, I've got to put that on later on but that is it, next we need to mount the servos and I think the steering system will be next so pretty cool, keep your eyes out uh, a lot of room here as well for these like I said before which is good a lot of room for the batteries here and just a lot of the ESC, sorry the, well, the ESC for the starter and the glow plugs as well need to go in there but apart from that, looking pretty cool I won't keep this video too long, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in these products, links will be down below as well. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know. Any questions, leave them down below. I hope you're enjoying the series, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.